We'll meet here to go on motorcycle rides. We'll meet here in like the middle of the day if like people just don't have work going on. Like almost any time you're here for more than an hour, we're gonna run into somebody that you know and like. Just slowly getting to know people through that one cup of coffee that they get every day. It's literally like having another family. I mean, I remember like the first time I came in here before I knew anyone that worked here, before I knew Cohen or Mark, before I, you know, had buddies that were here every day. It was just kind of one of those things where I came in, and I sat down, and I got a coffee, and I didn't feel out of place at all. It's early in the morning, and there would be 15 or 20 people, bikes lining the, the railing of the patio, and everybody's in their Lycra and their kits and clomping around in their cycling shoes and filling up on coffee. Two of our regulars, they just had a baby, and like they, they brought their baby in specifically to Huckleberry so we could meet her. That's what kind of creates the overall Huckleberry experience. It's the people. It's just a kind of a good feeling. When I send in my order, they always write back, you know, hey, have a great way for it. How's your week going? And, you know, even in the wholesale, there's service. I, I want somebody who's for the last 10 years been afraid to go into the hipster coffee shop because they have weird coffee and only serve small drinks. I want them to come through our doors, see a barista with a friendly smile, say, how can we help you? What would you like? You're going to love it. When people come to Huckleberry, I want them to feel comfortable, whether they're a coffee professional or a coffee novice, it doesn't really matter. Uh, when they walk through our doors, I want them to feel like this is their place. At the root of everything we do is we want as many people to taste our coffee as is possible. So we task Kevin to make sure that we have coffees that appeal to everyone. I'm Kevin Nealon. I'm the green buyer and one of the two roasters here at Huckleberry. I want to have a well-rounded lineup of coffees that are going to please your grandpa who wants their coffee to taste like coffee, damn it. I also want to have coffees in our lineup that are going to get baristas really excited about coffee or a coffee drinker to say like, I've never tasted that before. I'm gonna start going to Huckleberry. I, I grew up where coffee came out of a can. It was cooked in the Pyrex coffee pot. It was just a beverage. I love getting to teach people about coffee in a way that makes them excited about it and that makes them want to learn more and they don't feel that intimidation. I don't know a lot, but I know enough to know what's a good cup of coffee and what isn't. What's fun about Mark and I is that we are examples of the power that is the coffee shop experience. You know, I was working in a cafe. He was a customer when he was doing some nonprofit work. And it was that amazing thing that only happens in coffee shops where you go from being a customer to a regular, then you're talking about music, then you go get a beer, then you're friends. And now really that spirit of friendship and community just continues to run through the company six years later. You know, Huckleberry Roaster started off as a roasting company. We now think ourselves as a coffee company. And our future really just continues to be about the people.